All right, welcome. So we are excited to be here today. We want to wish you all a very happy new year and hope that uh, your uh, time during the holidays were well spent and that you're all healthy and well. Uh, we are very excited to be kicking off the new year with such a, a fantastic opportunity for uh, candidates to learn a little bit more about financing your MBA. So before uh, we jump into that, I do want to do a land acknowledgement. So Queen's University is situated on the territory of the Anishinaabek and Haudenosaunee peoples. Uh, we are very uh, proud uh, to be able to play, work, and live on these uh, lands. Uh, it is a great privilege. So this is a presentation uh, that will take next 30 minutes or so. Uh, it is being recorded, so you will have an opportunity to watch or share uh, this recording with whomever you think uh, would find value in it. So please do so. You should receive it within the next two to three business days. If you do have any questions, please use the chat function or Q&A button. Um, you can go ahead and ask your questions at any point in time throughout the presentation, and uh, we will get to them as soon as we can. If we happen to miss any of your questions, don't worry, uh, we will uh, be able to answer them offline. There's plenty of ways in which you can connect with us, um, so please don't hesitate to reach out to us via email or on our website. We do have a live chat function. And as well, uh, we always encourage that you connect with us on our social media platforms. So my name is Teresa Perez and I'm the Associate Director of Recruitment and Admissions for the full-time MBA program at the Smith School of Business. I have been uh, very lucky to be able to um, hold this position now for just over 10 years. So I've seen plenty of classes come through. Um, I have seen very successful uh, students um, come in and come out of this program over the years. And it's been such a privilege to be in this position and gain such an amazing roster of alumni and uh, continue to network with outside stakeholders um, and partners uh, such as Empower, whom we are here with today. And we'll uh, get to that in just a moment. Uh, but before we learn a little bit more about our partnership with Empower and what they offer uh, prospective candidates in terms of loan options, I'm going to walk you through uh, what it is um, that we offer at the Smith School of Business in the full-time MBA program that sets us apart or makes us unique in comparison to other MBA programs. So it is a 12 month program. So we do begin in January. Our program officially begins next week with our pre-MBA. So we are a one year MBA that begins in January. So uh, right out of the gate, we are unique in that uh, perspective. Um, typically MBA programs would start in the fall. Uh, we start in January in the winter term um, strategically. It does um, align with Canada's hiring structure um, in terms of uh, the corporate hiring structure. And so uh, we see this in our returns um, on the employment side. So year over year, we do see very strong statistics uh, in terms of our employment uh, rates um, of students coming out of the MBA program. So uh, this is uh, strategic in starting in the middle of winter, not ideal for some candidates that are not, um, have not had the experience of being in a cold climate, but I can um, assure you that you're not spending too much time outside as uh, this program is quite rigorous, especially during the first six months. So you are uh, going to be in Goods Hall, which is a state-of-the-art learning facility right on uh, in the heart of Queen's University campus, right downtown Kingston, Ontario. If you are not familiar with Kingston, it is situated very um, conveniently between two major cities. It's about two and a half hours to Toronto, three and a half hours to Montreal, and about an hour and a half to Ottawa, which is our capital. So right in the middle um, and uh, very easy access to get to these major cities. We are a relatively small uh, city with about 160,000 people, very much a university town. And there is um, this convenience in being in a smaller city um, right away, you know, being in a smaller city means less, it's less expensive uh, to be a student here in Kingston. But on the other hand, it is uh, really quite uh, convenient to be in a city that you don't have to commute to classes. Um, all of our students live within, you know, five, 10 minute walking distance. Um, it is, you know, such a great safe city uh, with all the amenities that you would need as a student. So it is a, a great um, place to, to be able to come and study for the year that you'd be in your MBA program. 
our methodology really is blended. We don't uh, feel you learn best in one in one way. And so this is why we merge both the technical and the interpersonal skill sets that are relevant to being successful in a corporate Canada today um, by merging both, you know, the experiential learning as well as, you know, the living cases in class instruction. You're getting this throughout your time in both the core of the MBA as well as during your electives. Uh, we do have multiple project opportunities where you'd be working with uh, small to medium sized enterprises, SM MEs, uh, which do give you a wide scope of understanding how business is done here in Canada. Um, typically, the SMEs are, come to us as um, an opportunity for students to, to tap into these projects. And so you don't have to necessarily source them on your own. But again, if you do have a company or your own new venture that you'd like to, uh, to do a project on, that's absolutely feasible as well. I always recommend that you take a look at our curriculum and our website to learn a little bit more about what we offer. We do have specializations in the last six months of the MBA where you can delve deeper into a specific area. So you're really getting a wide breadth of um, skills through both the curriculum as well as the project-based courses that we offer. So merging those skill sets to ensure your success is really our goal. And it's equally as important to see this in both uh, the curriculum that you're getting in your MBA, but as well as building you up as a professional uh, to build those leadership and management skills as well. So you can um, take a look at our website to learn more about what those specific courses look like. And if you do have any questions, of course, you can um, let us know. And an ideal candidate. So oftentimes, you know, candidates are wondering, well, how can I get into such a prestigious MBA program? What do I need to, uh, what do I need to shine? What is it that uh, will make me stand out? So these are um, four buckets, I like to call them, uh, in areas that you can um, focus on as you begin your MBA application journey. So first and foremost, we're looking at your intellectual horsepower. Um, this can be seen in your GPA and your undergraduate degree. So we do look at that as the, the first and foremost um, requirement that you, you need to have in order to qualify for this uh, MBA program. A four-year undergraduate degree is preferred. However, if you do have a three-year undergraduate degree, we will look at that on a case-by-case. -case. So your GPA typically should be, uh, you know, about a B, B plus average. Um, again, all skills are different depending on which country you're coming from, and you can always ask us those questions. Um, if your transcripts are not in English, we will need to have those translated. Uh, we work with Wes, um, and if you're not familiar with Wes, you can do a quick uh, Google search. Um, they do uh, assessments and conversions for you, so um, this is something that you will need to consider if your transcripts are not in English. As well, we are looking at a standardized test to be submitted. So in GMAT or a GRE, um, if you are someone who has a master's degree or uh, an additional credential or designation, like a CFA, for example, we do, of course, take that in, in, into account as well to understand uh, your aptitude for this program. Work ethic and resiliency can be seen in your resume. So we're looking at the transitions that you have had, um, the uh, potential promotions, not to say that you have had that you have to have any promotions, but um, the trajectory in terms of growth, in terms of what you've gained um, accomplishments over the years post-graduation is essential um, to understanding, again, your aptitude, but also your capabilities, the skills that you have built, uh, what is going to make you um, a value add in terms of what you're bringing to the classroom discussions, et cetera. So that typically is seen in the resume cover letter, as well as what your references are saying. And then we do delve deeper in the interview uh, as well in terms of your skills and what you bring to the table. Interpersonal skills uh, can be seen again in what your references are saying um, and in any interaction that we're having with you. So keep in mind that it's important to be professional at all times. Uh, your interview is really going to be uh, where we're testing this. Um, we are interviewing you in a panel. So uh, someone from the admissions team in the full-time MBA, as well as a career coach. So we do bring in our careers team um, to help us with all interviews. And also again, to delve deeper into what your goals are, your accomplishments um, and what you have, have done in your career 
career, but also where you're going. Um, so keep in mind that it's good to do your due diligence and, and think about what it is this MBA can do for you and what you plan to do post MBA, because these are questions that we do, of course, ask you during the, the interview, just a tip. And lastly, your coachability and team experiences. This is a team-based MBA, meaning that we do put you into small teams for the first six months of the MBA. So design like a business environment. So keep that in mind that that does really set us apart compared to any other program. And so we're looking at where you have worked in teams. This doesn't necessarily mean it has to have been uh, within your career. If you are if you have a hobby interest, uh, if you've been part of any extracurriculars that involve team uh, or leadership, these are the kinds of things we want to see. So please include them on your resume. Um, we want to see any sports related activities that you've been a part of. Any, any area where you can showcase leadership or team based experiences is really going to help set you apart. So keep those um, areas in mind as you're asking yourself the question if you are a right fit or if, you know, you're missing something, go back to these and say, okay, have I hit, um, you know, all of these points in terms of your application and am I presenting the strongest uh, profile that you can? Take your time, ask the questions, connect with us. We are here to help you. And in terms of financing, so you are here to learn more about how you can best finance this MBA program, but rest assured, and I want to ensure that you all go to our website to learn more about our careers um, statistics, our employment statistics, uh, we have the highest return on your investment of any MBA program in the country. Uh, last year, during a pandemic, we saw 98% of our students acquire jobs three months after graduation, which is uh, phenomenal. And this year, with our class that just finished in December, we are already almost at 70% employed, which is unprecedented. Uh, we are seeing such amazing statistics year over year. Um, and this is attributed to multiple factors, of course, the quality of education that you're getting, but also the support and resources that we offer, uh, which is, are unparalleled um, in comparison to any other MBA program. It does help, of course, to have multiple events throughout the year. And we host over 100 events um, throughout the year, both uh, in person and virtual. At this time, uh, the, the um, program uh, networking events are going to be virtual until um, all is clear, especially, um, you know, during this, this um, time across the globe with Omicron, we are in uncertain, uh, uncharted territory in terms of uh, what the next uh, few months will look like. But at this time, we are taking all precautions. And so uh, we have moved to a virtual pl uh, platform um, until further notice. But we suspect that our students will be back in class uh, beginning of March and that our events will continue to be hybrid. So cost of living is something that you do have to factor in as well as you're planning to finance uh, your MBA endeavors and journey. Um, not only um, do you have to factor the tuition, um, but also, of course, uh, what it's going to cost to live in, in Kingston. Um, of course, this is going to be based on individual preferences, but generally speaking, this is just an average of about eighteen dollars to $20,000. It could be more. Um, you know, Keep that in mind that this is just an average and a very basic outline of what you you'd need to factor in into your expenses, into your budget as you prepare to finance and think about financing uh, your MBA. The tuition um, is $83,100 for domestic students and $102,100 for international uh, students. Um, those with permanent residency would pay the domestic fee. Keep in mind, all of your cases, textbooks, materials, all of the resources and support that you get are all included in the cost of this tuition. The only addition of additional expenses are going to be your living expenses. As well, um, a bonus is that there is no application fee. It is free to apply to the Smith MBA program. So uh, please keep that in mind. You can start an application at any point in time, um, but you do need to have that standardized test um, in order to complete your application, but you don't need to have the GMAT or GRE to start an application. Scholarships. So we do offer scholarships to all candidates. Um, you, all candidates are assessed rather for scholarship and about 70%, 75% of our students do acquire a scholarship. Uh, we do also have um, an RBC line of credit, preferred lenders, RBC for domestic students. And then of course our fellowships uh, that we offer 
as well um, for women specifically with the Forte. Um, and then uh, we do have a new partnership with Roma, which is Reaching Out MBA uh, for our LGBTQ uh, community. So we do have fellowships that range um, from $20,000 upwards. Um, and then of course, uh, our partnership with Empower. So we have financial loans for international students. Um, and I'm going to turn it over to my colleague in just a moment to speak a little bit more about uh, what that loan option looks like. So our scholarships in general range from $10,000 to $60,000, and they are all merit-based, meaning that we're looking at everything that you're submitting to us and scoring um, on a rubric uh, to identify where your scholarship will land. So the higher the scores, the higher the scholarship, but this does not necessarily mean the higher the, the grades um, or GMAT score. There's all sorts of other factors that we're looking at and quantifying, such as your team-based experiences, leadership, um, you know, the unique aspects of your file of your profile that would really um, add value to a classroom. So really overall, we're looking at your accomplishments and all of that is assessed when we're looking at you for both acceptance and scholarship. There is no separate application for scholarship. When you apply to the program, we're assessing you at that same time. All right, how you join our next class. So you can go right onto our website um, and submit uh, your overall um, general uh, information on our platform. Uh, so we have a very straightforward online platform that you'd need to complete the application. But then um, there's going to be other pieces of your application that are going to need to be submitted. So one of our application advisors will contact you once you've completed that online form and then walk you through the next steps. So it really is very much a hands-on process and all of our um, students do have access to um, an application advisor to help uh, to help get you started but also to help you submit the strongest profile um, that you can. So you submit your resume and unofficial transcripts for a preliminary assessment. That's step number one. Of course, register for any upcoming events that we have. You can always reach out to me or any one of our team members for a virtual coffee chat. Um, our student ambassadors are always willing to connect with you as well. So lots of different um, points of contact that you can make with us to learn more about the program, the student experience, application process, um, and then ultimately uh, get you started on your application. So uh, what are you waiting for is always what I like to say. Uh, there is no fee to apply. As mentioned, we are also on a rolling admission basis. Um, for international students, we do strongly advise that you apply before September in any given year, just to give yourself enough time to secure funding as well as study permits, et cetera. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to learn a little bit more about the Smith MBA program. I'm going to now um, turn it over to my colleague, uh, Meliku, who is going to uh, provide you more details and information about our fantastic partnership with Empower. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Teresa, for the warm introduction. Uh, I'll go ahead and get my sh uh, screen shared just here in a second already. Just want to make confirm you guys are able to see my screen, Teresa. Yes, we are. Okay. All right. Perfect. So, uh, again, uh, my name is Malaku. I'm here on behalf of Empower Financing. Uh, I just want to just extend a huge thank you to everybody that's actually here today, or that's going to be listening to the recording at a later time. Uh, and as you all are familiar with, we are Empower Financing. So, uh, how are we going to find, talk about financing your MBA program? Uh, we're going to first start off with a quick overview about Empower, uh, more importantly, why we feel that this is a great option for our students exploring their financing, such as each and every one of you here today. Uh, more importantly, we'll have student support questions, uh, sort of how we're able to work, the, uh, work with you outside of a loan, essentially. But more importantly, we'll save those questions towards the end. So as you may see our uh, mission-driven focus here, we do sort of drum this in every conversation that we have, but we do believe socioeconomic mobility should be borderless. Uh, essentially top students such as yourselves uh, enrolling in top programs in Canada. Uh, the last thing that you should be dealing with or facing should be uh, lack of funding. So from the very onset, what we've tried to do is uh, unlock funding for those where we feel that it is left in the driver's seat of the student. Essentially the financing is based off of your future potential to earn. Uh, which will help remove a lot of the different obstacles that you previously have faced. So as a quick 
uh, backstory for anyone that's not familiar with this so far. Uh, Empower Financing, we've been in the educational lending space since 2014. Uh, we actually were founded by two co-founders, Manu Smaja and Mike Davis, both of which were international students. Uh, in the case of our current CEO, Manu, uh, he went through a very similar uh, process, going to school, but needed funding. Uh, and then actually in the process of before completing his program, uh, he was short. And so luckily he was able to get funding from a family member after some time. Uh, but, you know, it, that was where the very inception of Empower sort of came from. So uh, as you may see, we are an international team, but we share that just to say that uh, whether it may be a student uh, that's going to be speaking with someone from what we call our relationship manager team, essentially our customer support, uh, or someone that you may be speaking with from credit and underwriting, uh, you name it. These are folks that have been through the same process, uh, so we completely understand and we try to hold the hand as, uh, throughout this process as well. So two of the main common questions, um, more so hurdles that people are facing with would either be that they've been admitted to a great institution, however, they're being required to have some type of cosigner. Um, obviously, that can be uh, that can create some headaches there. Uh, now, secondly, even if you have access to the funding, maybe the process within itself is very cumbersome. Uh, as Teresa mentioned earlier, with the ongoings of COVID-19, especially to our, uh, our, our, our brothers and sisters over in India, uh, with lockdowns and there in other countries, uh, it can make that virtually impossible. Uh, so as I kind of share some information, uh, we do hope to alleviate those very two things. So some quick eligibility criteria uh, for any of you wondering, okay, how can I apply? Am I eligible to apply as long as you're pursuing any degree program? Uh, in the case of you all here, MBA program here at Smith, uh, but more importantly, you'll need to be within two years of graduation. Uh, and that's it. Now, from a country perspective, we do have 195 plus countries that it will include a number of different uh, sort of regions there uh, that we're able to support. And so uh, it all starts with an online process. I'll get to that in a second and how we're able to work and review your documentation, essentially get a better understanding of who you are uh, and your past academic performance, uh, which is the mile marker, right? Uh, considering that we are not offering or even accepting uh, any type of collateral or cosigner option, uh, essentially we are basing this on the student. Now, loans in particular are gonna be up to 125,000, that's Canadian. Uh, US equivalent will be 100K. Uh, and the term of the loan will be 10 years upon graduation. Uh, when you equate that with the two years while still in school, uh, give or take for some time, that's gonna give you about a half, 12 and a half years. We do provide scholarships as well that I'll touch on. Uh, they are numerous, whether it may be an MBA specific one, uh, we have rolling monthly scholarships, women in STEM, uh, and various ones of the like. More importantly, we just offered our refinancing as well. Uh, so if you were to think of what does Empower offer, those are our flagship options for students. Now, the loan funds themselves can cover uh, tuition, housing meals, anything that you could equate to a school-related cost. Uh, and even in the cases of healthcare as well. Now we do have fixed interest rates. Uh, these will never change throughout the entire lifeline uh, of your loan itself. Uh, and there are a lot of benefits that kind of come with that uh, as each and, every, uh, each and every one of you are either doing some research on your own or sort of taking some time to explore and compare the different options that may be available to you. Uh, we do believe that fixed interest rates will uh, provide a, a great benefit. Now, as we move on, uh, we do feel that building credit history uh, is something that can easily get swept under the rug, considering that when we think of the students that reach out to us, uh, you know, in the case of each and every one of you here, you may not have any credit history in Canada, right? You may have never even stepped foot in Canada, more than likely. So uh, on time, consistent payments while you're still in school, uh, and even beyond that will allow you to have more access to different uh, credit process, products, excuse me. Um, when you need them. So if you think of housing, if you think of um, a vehicle, you think of other credit financing uh, that can really impact your life, uh, this will help start that. So moving on, we do have our visa support letters. Uh, this will help for those of you uh, that will inevitably go through the immigration process. And so we do have certified immigration support specialists on staff uh, for anyone that may have questions that require more detail. 
and finally, going back to our loan term, there is no prepayment penalty. So each and every one, you can pay off the loan as soon as you'd like. Uh, and I, I kind of want to take a quick pause just to sort of highlight the, the actual process of the loan. Uh, and of course, we'll have our Q&A at the end, but this is a 10-year loan, and we break up the payments into two portions. You'll have your uh, in-school portion, which will be interest only. Considering that you're still in school, you haven't even started your uh, or kicked off your new career. Uh, secondly, there's a grace period of six months, and once that is completed, uh, students will begin to pay towards the principal, and that will continue to up to 10 years. And of course, you have no prepayment penalty, so you can pay it off as soon as you'd like. Now, moving on, uh, amongst several different authoritative voices within the educational or financing space, we are honored um, to be voted consistently the last couple of years running the number one international student loan option. Um, and this is impossible without you guys. Uh, and honestly, it's not us, it's you all that are doing the hard work and really chasing after your dreams. We just hope to make sure that we're able to uh, essentially make the job or make the process easier for you. So a couple of the things that we have uh, sort of laid out here is why we think that Empower and why we truly know we are unique, uh, better, easier, and cheaper. And when we do, uh, dive in, so uh, no co-signer, no collateral, no guarantor, co-applicant, any of those other requirements uh, that you may run across. And it's our first sort of ode to why we feel we are better. Uh, there are no restrictions on school expenses, as mentioned, majors either. Uh, and finally, we do provide different uh, support uh, outside of uh, lending that we mentioned, uh, offer resume and career support. We call this our Path to Success program. Uh, we have a ton of financial literacy tools on our website. Uh, in fact, even when someone is in the process of going through the application process, we'll make them take a quiz. We have various different questions and materials that they have to review because we want to make sure that you understand uh, this is a great fit for you. Uh, we just want to help uh, empower you as you continue on this path. Secondly, we do believe it's easier compared to what you may encounter out there in the current state of uh, lending in the world across the world right now, but uh, it's a quick eligibility check. Uh, two thirds of all of our borrowers actually apply and get approved, uh, and their funds disperse all directly from their uh, comfort of their phone. Uh, secondly, it's a quick check. Once we do that, it's three days for an initial approval. This is assuming that this is uh, sort of has all the required things that we need. Uh, now, once we sort of pass you through that initial phase. Uh, we do ask for some documents, and this is our way for us to get an understanding of who you are, uh, considering, hey, let's let's see, uh, take a look at your previous academic performance. What were your GPAs? Uh, where do you currently live? Uh, do you have any funds that you wish to uh, state? Maybe you have an employment opportunity upon landing here, or uh, landing, excuse me, in Canada. Uh, any of that information that will be helpful for our credit and underwriting team to better assess your forward-looking debt-to-income ratio. Uh, this is essentially what it boils down to. Now, students do ask us a couple of questions about financing uh, that I would love to kind of share with you, but you know, this main biggest thing is that it's very quick and easy, uh, and we're happy to do, provide that for you. As far as cheaper, uh, that's a great thing. People are always wondering how cheap it is or how much money can they save in the long run, but uh, our interest rates for international students that are pursuing an MBA will be starting off at 11.99% fixed, and that will be for every international student, of course. Um, these, please note, do not include any of the interest rate reductions that I'll touch on in a couple of seconds uh, that anyone can take advantage of, nor is it obligatory. Uh, moving on, we do not have any hidden fees, uh, any of those that you can see mentioned here on the screen. Uh, the only fee that we do have is what we call our origination fee, which is a 5% of the loan amount. Uh, this is common for lenders whenever they are processing and dispersing fees. Uh, however, the, that will be rolled into the loan, so there's no sort of upfront cost, as mentioned here, uh, that is to worry about. Moving on, uh, the loan currency will be in USD, so there's no issue with depreciation uh, either. So uh, just a quick glance, more so of a side-by-side -side for students. Uh, many of the other options that we may have run across 
uh, do offer variable interest rates. Of course, we have our fixed interest rates and sort of uh, just a quick synopsis on why we feel uh, this will be a better option for you. So for those of you maybe interested in our auto pay uh, incentive, that's the first tier. Uh, essentially, we wanna make sure that you have ways uh, to essentially pay yourself back without having to do anything, but continue to just focus on your school and be the superstars that you are. Uh, first of which, signing up for auto pay or ACH, uh, as long as you have a type of bank account that can be automatically debited every single month of your payment, uh, you'll receive half of a percentage point. Uh, secondly, six months continuous on-time payments while on auto pay, uh, you'll of course unlock that second discount. Uh, and then you have your third discount. Uh, we wanna see you graduate, all right? So send us proof of graduation, uh, the employment, please note this is full-time salaried employment. Uh, this can be anywhere in the world. So whether you're going to be uh, in Canada for some time or eventually making your way back home, uh, that's totally fine. Now, uh, these are not inclusive, uh, along, you know, uh, sort of on each other. You know, if you just want to take one advantage of one ACH and, you know, you really don't care about making consistent payments or if you miss up one month, that's totally fine. Uh, it's not the end of the world. You can just continue and have another six months and you'll unlock that uh, interest rate reduction at that point. And more importantly, they will stick with you throughout the entire lifetime of the loan itself. So uh, those are those are for you all. So uh, our students do feel strongly about our loan options. Uh, we get a ton of reviews from students, um, videos, you name it. Uh, and these are real lives that have been changed and so I won't actually take the time to read out, but these are what they've had to share. And I could only imagine how important the process would be for any one of you to, to have one less thing such as uh, financing uh, on your mind. But a couple, a quick pivot to touch base on what we've talked about earlier. We do wanna dive, or, uh, dive deeper, excuse me, into our path to success and scholarships. A uh, couple of a quick glance here, visa and immigration support, as we mentioned through our uh, certified immigration specialists. We do have our visa support letter, uh, credit building, more importantly, we wanna uh, re sort of visit there. Career prep and resume review is something that I wanna highlight at this time where we will pair you up with different members of our human resources team. Uh, mind you, these are industry experts and they would love to take a look to see what other insights that they can provide to each and every one of you. Uh, but for those that are interested, some may have other options. That's totally fine. We wish you all the best. Uh, for job interview training, this is something that we provide. Uh, and we are excited for the different changes that we'll be able to roll out as time moves forward. Uh, for example, uh, we're going to be looking into interactive video, uh, you know, different ways for you to network. We have currently thousands upon thousands of students that we have provided loans to over the course uh, since 2014. Essentially, this is an alumni network. Uh, so for students, uh, that sort of leads us into the next phase here, assimilation support. Uh, let's say each and every one of you, when you go through this process of transitioning into Canada, uh, maybe you want to connect with someone that's from your back, uh, from the same country, or maybe you want to connect with someone that's a fellow MBA student, right? Uh, you name it, we have access and we are honored that so many students having gone through this process are elated to be able to connect with other like-minded individuals. And I think that goes hand in hand on the type of experience and opportunities that you all are gonna be pursuing through your MBA program within itself. So I think those sort of uh, have a great hand in hand uh, alignment there. So these are our scholarships. Uh, some of you may or may not be familiar. For those that are familiar already, you may have noticed that they've doubled, yes. Uh, we want to be able to help out in every kind of way, starting with our main flagships, Global Citizen Scholarship. Uh, we are offering this uh, several times throughout the year. And first place winner, of course, $10,000. This will be in USD. Um, $10,000 for the Empower MBA Scholarship as well. Uh, both, of course, as you see, they're runner-ups. They're $2,000 respectively. Uh, we have our Women in STEM. Uh, more importantly, our monthly scholarships uh, each and every one of these are going to be a quick essay type of format for the most part. Uh, usually they'll have a, a different type of theme that you will be asked to speak on. Uh, it could be one that really resonates with someone. It could be uh, sort of what are you thankful for the most. But for those of you, uh, I would think MBA scholarship would be a no-brainer. 
uh, to at least explore. And you are not required to apply for any type of uh, financing in order for you to take out a loan. Uh, so there's no requirement there. Now, this is something that I'm actually uh, super excited. Uh, we are Empower uh, is strictly offering you guys, anyone uh, that is going to be listening to this webinar or that's uh, going to be listening to the recording at a later date. Uh, if you feel that we are a great option for you, you've taken the time, you've done your research, you've compared and you feel that this is something worthwhile, we are honored firstly. And if you apply and you do receive an approval, uh, please let us know. Uh, this QR code will allow me and my colleagues to be able to see who's actually joined. Uh, and for any of you, we will send you a virtual gift card. But any questions about that, of course, you can always reach out to me or share them towards the Q&A towards the end as well. Now, I typically when I do these webinars, um, you know, whether it may be having a bunch of students or a little, I usually like to refer a lot of the different time towards the end uh, for Q&A. But uh, it seems that that's usually a lot because I granted a lot of you guys, uh, students are on your game and you've done some research. So you're probably ready to to kind of see and compare and contrast what you may have done or may have heard or in a sense of what you've read online um, on our website. So happy to kind of be that in-person representative for you. Uh, for you have questions about us, uh, you can reach out to our email at empower.me at empowerfinancing.com. Uh, we have our phone number that's in our DC headquartered office. So Eastern time zone, uh, plus one, two, or two, four, one, seven, 3,800. Um, we have our sister headquarters in India as well. Uh, for those of you that wish to contact us by email, I just shared that to say, though, even though our phone hours are between 8 and 5 p.m. Eastern time, we're virtually able to provide around the clock support. But I'll kind of take a quick step back from that moment uh, and just maybe potentially open up the floor. Uh, if we don't have any other questions, I'll kind of use some time to highlight some other things that may be uh, helpful for you all today. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Maliku. This was uh, excellent information, some great resources, and what an awesome opportunity to get a $100 gift card. So please take advantage of that uh, for all of those listening in today. Um, we do have a couple of questions, so we'll jump right in in the uh, next uh, few minutes that we have left. Um, first question, what percentage of overall cost should be funded through student loans? Is there any maximum? There is no maximum. Uh, we have some students that loan the entire cost get the loan of the entire cost of the program. Uh, with Empower, there's the advantage that is that it is in US dollars. So <laughs> the reality is, is that for anyone looking at this program, um, our fees are in Canadian dollars. So it's an advantage to take, um, to get the, the loan from Empower. Um, and the reality is, is Empower does um, work directly with our institution. So um, the funds get directly filtered to us, um, put into your account, uh, very straightforward, very easy process. Um, so there is no, so I guess to, to, to your question, Hamanshu, and thank you for the question, uh, there is no, there is no maximum. Um, it really is very dependent on each and every student journey. Um, but I do like to preface plan early. You can go on to Empower and see what you would potentially um, qualify for even before you get an acceptance. So Melko, I don't know if you want to talk about that um, quickly. It's a very easy, uh, straightforward process. Um, so I don't know if you have any tips on that. Absolutely. I think the first tip I would just be to echo Teresa here with uh, starting early. Uh, it's interesting because there's a ton of other students doing the exact same thing. Uh, and with so many different outside circumstances where we can see that can bog down school's ability to handle or you name it, your ability to furnish these documents, uh, the last thing you would want to do is play and catch up when it matters the most. So uh, start early on. Uh, we have a ton of resources directly on our website. Again, not just really to financial literacy, but we have documents. You know, what do I need to upload? Uh, you can expect what will happen. You know, part of my job that I want to do today is uh, that I'll kind of deep uh, take a deeper dive in a second will be you know, who's our ideal candidate, as well as what are some easy to tell things that may rule you out. And that's totally fine. If we're not able to have this time, maybe there's a chance for us to reconnect down the road. Um, but yes, a couple of quick things to kind of keep in mind here, uh, aside from starting early and getting those uh, required documents ahead of time would be, um, we're looking to see, uh, is this person going to be able to uh, pay off the loan? Is the loan sustainable, right? We'll ask you, hey, you're, uh, you're the estimated cost of your attendance, as we just saw, is a little over $100,000 for this MBA program, right? Um, will you be able to get approved from that? 
Now, how we're able to tell that will be based off of your past academic performance. Why? Because people that have great grades typically are, are you know, they have a, it's a telltale sign of some type of order of consistency. Uh, secondly, we're going to look at your credit history. And of course, you did hear me correctly earlier, we do not require history, but we do check to see how can we evaluate the loan sustain, uh, sustainability, affordability? Uh, how do we uh, look at your forward looking to, uh, to income, income, debt to income ratio? I'm sorry that my tongue does not seem to work today, uh, but yes. So those are a couple of things that we'll look at. Um, if assuming you don't have any high overhead, assuming you don't have any history of delinquencies, de uh, bankruptcies, anything like that, uh, that would rule a person out, which I don't believe should be the case, uh, then you'll be able to proceed forward. Then we're going to look and say, okay, well, great. What's the estimated salary that a student from this country going to be earning once they have finished and complete this MBA program at Smith, which we already have tons of data for. And as Teresa mentioned, it's great data, right? So these are strong things that we look at. Uh, mind you, you know, we see so many different students across the globe that may not fit into this bucket, so we still like to share that aspect. But uh, assuming that you have no bad history with credit, you have a great potential future earning with your degree, you have great academic performance, which you all have worked so hard to maintain and to grow, uh, those are usually good signs. Those are what we call bullet listed. There's a great chance of some type of approval. Uh, but of course, you know, with the nuanced uh, aspect of life, um, you know, it can't, there's no carbon copy. So of course, if you do have questions, again, uh, if you, whether today or reach out to me one-on-one, -on -one, um, we'll be happy to see you. Great. And Desiree asks, how long does this process take? Uh, that's a great question, Desiree. Uh, and uh, I hope I said the name correctly, but yes. Yeah. Um, but yes. So the process uh, overall, uh, it will take anywhere between from start the application to funded uh, assuming that you'll have a, a start program, a program start date very soon. You're looking at anywhere between a month and a half. And I like to give a range of two, either a couple of weeks before, a couple of weeks after. Uh, the reason being that you have some students that when they apply, uh, their credit document, the credit and uh, underwriting team, excuse me, will review your documents and there's no changes needed. They're going to be able to quickly give you an approval. Um, some students, they may require documents where we're going to go back and forth. We'll have the RM, our relationship manager, reach out to you. Hey, we need some clarity on your home address. And however quick it takes to get that back and forth done. And then we we'll have to resubmit that to the credit team, which may add a sort of buffer of three days until they can touch your file again. But standard overall time, a month and a half. Now, the sort of key question here is, how quick can I get an understanding of whether I'm going to be approved or not? The whole process, I'm cool with being patient. That's a great question as well. So once you submit all of your needed documentation, which will be asked of you usually within three days of starting your application, assuming you have everything done, we can get a final loan finalized for you, approval or denial, uh, usually within five business days. Again, give or take on either, uh, on either end of the spectrum. That's fantastic. Um, and then the last question here that we have time for today is from Fabiola in regards to discounts. So I, I believe the question is, is, is it easy to get discounts and how easy is it? Absolutely. And absolutely. Thank you, uh, Fabiola, for your, uh, your question as well. Uh, they are easy, assuming that a student can uh, will set up eventually either um, from the onset, uh, but you'll have, con considering the type of process and you're going into Canada, at some point you'll have a bank account that you'll be able to use. Uh, and as soon as you sign up with that bank account for ACH or auto debit or auto pay, uh, you'll get a half of a percentage point. Uh, there's nothing that you'll have to do and kind of flag us down. And, you know, once we see and you let us go, uh, we see that it's been checked off that you have enrolled in auto pay, uh, it'll automatically be um, enlisted within your account. So that's not, there's no need to worry. Um, and the, the other ones, in case anyone else that may have jumped or had some, you know, sort of missed out on that portion, the second of which will be a six month on time consistent payment of on auto pay. You'll get a second half of a percentage point. And then the third, of course, will be your full time salaried employment, uh, which will come with once you graduate, of course. Uh, congratulations. For, uh, just want to say that ahead of time. Uh, but yes, that will be your third way of uh, earning it and then sign up for a production. And I do see a question that's just popped up. Uh, hopefully we have time for it. Uh, Meliku, the question is in regards to once you've been approved, can you be denied at a later stage? 
That's interesting. If a student has been approved, and uh, you know, when we say initial approval, the initial approval essentially is what we're checking for eligibility. Uh, that's the process that you saw on the uh, on the uh, the visual saying about three days. Uh, and to your question, yes, because that's so early on. We just know you're eligible. You can continue. Uh, once we take a good look, we'll take a good look and we'll analyze. And that's where that five business day process happens at. We can't promise anything up to that point. Uh, you're going to have students, and it could even be yourself, where the moment you submit an application, you'll get told that you have been conditionally approved. Because from based off the initial data that we see, it, it's a very telltale sign that we should be, we're, we're most likely going to approve this person. And in very rare cases, to your question, that conditional offer could, could get declined for some reason. So yes, is it possible? Yes. Is it common or expected? Not at all. Um, so you know those type of questions i wouldn't even be concerned about because you sort of control the controllables here you know getting all your documentation ahead of time you've already done the academic performance and groundwork that you needed to do to even get accepted uh because i know you all potentially so i'm wishing you all the best to be able to pursue the type of great program that's uh smith offers here it's it's it's, it's world renowned so um i'm hoping that you know we can have a conversation uh sometime soon Wonderful. Thank you so much, uh, Meliku, for answering those questions and to all of our listeners today for joining us. We want to wish you all the best. If we've missed any questions, both of us are here, Meliku and myself. Uh, we would be happy to take any of your questions offline um, and answer those and, and make you feel as comfortable and confident to not only get into the Smith MBA program, but also to secure a loan through Empower. Um, thank you again, Meliku. This was uh, fantastic information, great resources. And again, that gift certificate, that gift uh, card that you can receive, a $100 gift card, please take advantage of that. That's such a unique opportunity and such a great opportunity. So good luck uh, to all of our candidates. We want to wish you all the best and we look forward to seeing your applications very soon. Stay well and stay healthy wherever you are. Bye-bye.